This play was good enough for us, Harry. It was Romeo and Juliet. I must admit, I was rather annoyed of seeing Shakespeare done in such a wretched hole of a place. Still, I felt interested in a sort of way. At any rate, I was determined to wait for the first act. <sighs> that was a dreadful orchestra, presided over by a young Hebrew who sat at a cracked piano. That nearly drove me away, but at last, the drop scene was drawn up and the play began. <laughs> Romeo was played by a stout, elderly gentleman with corked eyebrows and a, a figure like a, a beer barrel. Mercutio was almost as bad. He was played by the low comedian who had introduced gags of his own and was on most friendly terms with the pit. Oh, they were both as grotesque as the scenery, I assure you, and it looked as though it had come out of a country booth. Oh. But Juliet, Harry, imagine a girl hardly 17 years of age with a little flower-like face, a little Greek head with plated coils of, of dark brown hair, eyes that were like violet wells of passion, lips that were like the petals of a rose. She was the loveliest thing I'd ever seen in my life.